It's time to go live, and you can go live quickly on YouTube using just your webcam. That's what we talk about today. Here we go. Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. Now around about six to eight months ago, I did an entire playlist of how you can go live on YouTube. Now, back then, there wasn't the instant quick go live with a webcam feature. So if you're looking to learn how to go live on your mobile phone using OBS or Google Hangouts, I've done a playlist up here, go and check that out. But if you're brand new and you're looking to use the go live feature that's been integrated into the top right hand corner, then we're going to deep dive into how that works and why that is important. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so this is the YouTube studio, which is taking effect in 2019. It lands here. If it hasn't already, then you can click on the try beta on the classic mode in the top left hand corner. But when you land here, this is your normal, your new dashboard. And on the left hand side is your videos, your analytics, your translations, your settings. And the most important thing when going live via webcam, is this little icon up here. Now you may be used to this. This is where you upload your videos, but you'll see go live. Now, when you click on this link, you'll get a few options. First of all, it may ask your browser if you want to accept using microphone and your camera. So in this case, I'm going to click allow. It will start to fill in the video in the background. So that's my hand waving and you get your usual options like you do on any other live stream. You've got your create a title, you've got private, or you can schedule for later. If you go public straight away, everyone can see it. Or if you go unlisted, only the people that you give the link to can see it. You can also click upcoming, click new stream and schedule them, or it gives you a list of the streams that you've already scheduled. But for now, we're more interested in the webcam setting. So let's go back to webcam. Okay, so you now title what you want the live stream to be. You choose whether or not it's private or whether it is public, or whether it's scheduled for later. And under more options, you can also see the description that you happen to be put in there. It may be automatically filled in if you're using your upload defaults, the category that you want to do it in, the webcam that you're doing it by, the microphone you are using. Under the advanced settings, you can allow chat, you can enable age restriction, you can tell everyone that the live stream happens to already be sponsored in some way, or you can enable monetization, obviously if you're part of the YouTube partnership program. If you click back, fill in everything that you need to fill in. So mine's a title, mine's private in this case, and then I click next. It will now take a thumbnail. So it now takes you to this page, which basically summarizes everything. You've got your thumbnail that you've just taken. You've got your title. You've got your category. You've got whether it's private or anything or how many people are waiting. Obviously, if it's in a public one, then there'll be more people waiting. On the right hand side is your chat, which everybody should be used to by now your super chat buttons, your options and things like that. And to go live, you simply click live or you can click share and share it out to your Twitter, your Facebook, your Tumblr, your Instagram, that kind of thing. As you can see there, it gives you a specific URL. It gives you your social media and then you simply copy the link or post it to those groups. But when you are ready, you click go live. Hello. So in this case, you will see the button down here, which happens to say end stream. In this case, it's not directly live, there will be a hesitation when it comes to the video. You'll see the audio quality here, the speaker here. Up here is the time, the length, and telling you that it's live, how many people are in, how many thumbs up here. And then of course, over here is your chat. When you are ready to end the live stream, you simply click end stream button at the bottom and you are done. Now the nice thing at the end of each live stream is you'll notice it on mobile phones, but they've also now done it on the webcam it will tell you how well that video has done, how many playbacks, how many peak concurrent visitors, how many new subscribers, the duration, the total watch time gained, which is very, very good if you're building up watch time on your channel to qualify for the YouTube partner program, and then the average watch time. And once again, we click done and it will return you back to normal. Your video will be stored in the live stream section for you to go back and to publish. You can make it public or you can unlist it. I used to do live streams and I'd then just republish them for people to go back and watch them again, but that's completely up to you. 
So that's how you use the go live feature, but why is it important? Well, live streaming is a very powerful way to get one-on-one -on -one community engagement and boost watch time. People are more likely to watch a live event if they know that it's coming. They can see the engagement, they can talk to you, they can super chat if you happen to be a partner, which can make you money, but more importantly, it builds that community. It's that, oh, what's gonna happen next? You can use that to your advantage. You can go live, you can create quick quality content. It plays into the YouTube algorithm because it will continue to promote you for as long as you are live. And then when you're done, it's indexed, archived, and played as a normal video. And now that it's built in so quickly that you can simply click go live, choose a few settings, pick your thumbnail, anything like that, there's no excuse for you to ignore it. And you can only get better with practice. But if you need help with any of the other features on YouTube, I've done a playlist up here. And of course, remember to hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and tip tutorials. Hit that notification icon so you're alerted every time I go live. Go out there. Start creating.